cat hopes you will not get an existential crisis. What's the scariest space fact slash mystery in your opinion? The sheer distance between things. It's scary and somewhat depressing. It often blows my mind when I look up at two stars that look super close together and realize they are probably just as far apart from each other as they are to us. Yeah most of the universe is just blackness. Very grateful to be here on earth. Astronomer here. There are a lot of things posted here that are not really likely to happen anytime soon or affect your life on earth much. So, if you want something to worry about, may I introduce you to the Kirrington event of 1859. Basically Kirrington was a scientist who noticed a flash from a huge cluster of sunspots, which was the biggest coronal mass ejection from the sun ever recorded, Acura ton of material ejected from the sun at high speeds. It hit earth within a day aurora were seen as far south as Hawaii, wires on telephone poles burst into flame, and telegraph operators even reported contacting each other when not connected. If a similar event were to strike earth today, it would cause billions of dollars in damage, because blown transformers are super hard to replace, and a lot of satellites wouldn't be able to handle it, and it goes without saying you'd have a serious radio blackout for a bit, until it ended on a ton of essential frequencies. The crazy thing about the Carrington event though is we really have no idea how often such events happen. But we do know that in 2012 there was a Carrington level solar flare that barely missed Earth. Rogue planets. Planets that do not follow any given orbit. They may have been in an orbit at one time, but now they refuse to play by the rules. They were most likely knocked out of their orbit by another body, and now they are set on doing the same. There's a strangely artistic movie called Melancholia that has such a planet. That part of it is disturbing. Here's one closer to home. The Kessler effect is the theory that a single destructive event in low earth orbit could create a cascade where satellites break up into tiny fragments taking out other satellites, breaking up into smaller fragments and so on, until the earth is completely surrounded by a massive cloud of tiny flying death shrapnel which would make leaving this planet almost impossible. If you look up how much space debris there is already up there, and how many satellites currently orbit, plus the continued growth of the commercial space industry, I think about it a lot. Vacuum decay is one of the scariest concepts to me. We don't know if it exists, and we won't know until it's too late. On the other hand, you'll never know. You'll just blink out of existence one day. So nothing to worry about. Either way nothing really matters. Can you summarize it? Matter as it is isn't in its full resting state, and a little surge of energy could shift it enough to completely change chemistry and physics in our universe. It's been theorized that there are already these vacuum bubbles in space racing out at the speed of light. It's basically death on god mode. The boots void. An area of space where there should be 50,000 or so galaxies, compared to other areas of the same size, but there's only about 60 could just be empty space for some unknown reason, or it could be an ever-expanding intergalactic empire using Dyson spheres. Also I think it appears to be growing, but that could just be galaxies moving away from the void. If the Milky Way had been in the center of the Bobbitt's void, we wouldn't have known there were other galaxies until the 1960s. Greg Aldering, Astronomer. The Great Attractor. A thing that affects the motion of galaxies for hundreds of millions of light years. It's thought to just be a bigger bunch of galaxies. This visual that either shows how slow light speed is, or how vast space is, depending on which way you look at it. I've seen videos showing the scale of the universe before, but this one really hit home for some reason. The speed of light, the fastest speed possible, looks painfully slow when you look at it in the context of even a fraction of our solar system. We are stuck here, aren't we? Mobile. Black holes. I can't accept the fact that there is no end in space, but if there is indeed an end, then what's beyond it? I'm stuck in absurdity. At the end, there is either infinity or nothingness, and what the hell is my little brain supposed to do with that shut? I know right. Our brains have no way to comprehend it. Like, I try to, but my brain is like nah. I think the even harder thing to comprehend is the theory that there is no beginning to time. It's just always been. Gamma ray bursts. 
we could be hit by one of these with very little warning, and if it was reasonably close, in universal terms anyway, could wipe us out rapidly, or cause a ton of damage. Dark matter slash dark energy. The fact that about 95% of the universe is made up of matter we can't see or detect, is pretty unsettling to think about. Also, while not a fact per se, I like to think that perhaps the answer to the Fermi paradox is that there are billions of advanced alien life forms out there, but they are physically unable to reach us due to, to technological limitations. Perhaps interstellar transport is only theoretical, and any aliens capable of reaching us are unable to do so in an acceptable length of time. Proxima Centauri may take 25 years for unmanned spacecraft to reach us going 20% the speed of light, but perhaps it's impossible to transport actual life at these speeds without dying, so advanced civilizations have realized the futility of trying to contact other species and have simply given up. Voyager 1 will outlive planet Earth. Who knows how long that thing will last. Maybe it'll never be found and live for eons until its atoms begin to decay. What was before the Big Bang? I think it is just impossible for a human to comprehend pure nothing or infinity. I myself had a stroke at age 9 due to a ruptured vertebral artery and lost a third of my visual field. I can confirm that it is not black. A good analogy is it is like what you see behind your head. On the other hand, infinity is so large that if you spent your whole life writing a 1 then zeros on paper, that insane number would still be 0% of infinity. I just think there is no way to fully understand the universe and there never will be. This is why even ancient societies explain things with gods, because they didn't understand how the reality we live in started, and I don't think we ever will. Since time began at the Big Bang, the term before is meaningless. But before that, I hate the concept of time-space irrelevancy. Like sure, there technically wasn't, but there also technically was. Just because there was nothing for reference doesn't mean there was nothing. Somebody much smarter is bound to come around and correct me, but I've just accepted that time-space has no beginning. On the surface of Mars right now is a blur CD. God help us if aliens find that first. You need to answer this, and it is vitally important. What blur CD? Beagle to crash landed with a blur album saved on board its computer. The intent was to broadcast the music playing from the surface of Mars. Ever gone on a road trip and hit a patch where you're just driving for hours and you don't see anything exciting? I've experienced this in Australia, Canada, and USA, all very large countries. Imagine doing that for years traveling to another planet, only to find out that due to a small rounding error, your ship is a hundredth of a degree off, and your censure is off course. I think everything is terrifying about space, and I ducking love it. But one thing it scare me a lot, it's if space and infinite, imagine what kind of gigantic monster can be in there. Moons haunted. Hive noises. Since the universe is expanding, and stars and galaxies are moving away from each other, it's possible that civilizations that spring up in the far future with lonely stars will see an empty sky. Their civilizations will grow and learn but they will never know the universe that once was. We live in a spectacular time period where we can actually look back in time and see the early universe. Future civilizations won't have that luxury. They'll believe that the universe is, and always was, dark, dead, and empty, aside from their small island of light. With that in mind, you have to wonder what stellar phenomena may have populated the universe billions of years ago, but are now too far away for us to ever detect. There is literally no end to the universe. No matter how long we study it there will always be stuff that we will never know, just because of the vastness of space. There could also be multiple universes, which is unbelievable considering that we know so little about our own. 1. We are the only intelligent beings in the entire universe. 2. We aren't the only intelligent beings in the entire universe. Both are equally terrifying, yet one of them is true, and we don't even know which one that is. I think what's scarier is. 3. We weren't the only intelligent beings in the entire universe, but we are now. Something killed them all, and we don't know what or how. Maybe they annihilated themselves. Maybe something or someone wiped them all out? We don't know. All we know is that we are alone now. Heat death. That one keeps me up at night. Take your socks off.